I'll leave you with this video that characterizes what the agreement really is about. Let's join News Prime at 7 p.m. where we'll bring you some more. Peace, stay with us. The intercepted document urges Ghana's parliament to, quote, respectfully consider and approve the agreement between the government of the United States of America and the government of Ghana. If that is approved, here are brief highlights of what the United States gets from Ghana. Unrestricted access to a host of Ghanaian facilities. Wide-ranging tax exemptions to the United States military. U.S. military will use Ghana as a base for staging and deploying forces. Ghana will bear the cost and take primary responsibility for securing the U.S. facilities in Ghana. Ghana will provide unimpeded access to and the use of agreed facilities and areas to the United States forces and contractors. The agreement allows U.S. forces and their contractors to undertake construction activities and make alterations and improvements to agreed facilities and areas. The United States contractors shall not be liable to pay tax or similar charge access within Ghana in connection with this agreement. On imports and exports, the U.S. forces may also import into and export out of and use in Ghana any personal property, equipment, supplies, material, technology, training or services in connection with the agreement. Such importation, exportation and use shall be exempt from any inspection, license, other restrictions, customs duty taxes or any other charges within Ghana. Aircraft vehicles and vessels operated by or at the time exclusively for the United States forces may enter and exit and move freely within the territory and territorial waters of Ghana. In terms of radio spectrum, the United States forces can also use Ghana's radio spectrum free of charge and have unimpeded access. Ghana has to accept as valid without a driving test or fee, driving licenses or permits issued by the appropriate U.S. authorities to military personnel as well as civilians and contractors. In a nutshell, the document says the USA wants Ghana as a base for staging and deploying forces. What does Ghana get in return? Facilitation of training, maintaining unit of readiness, continued exercise and other military opportunities, the document says. It continues, enhanced and fruitful security cooperation between Ghana and the US. Also, exchange of information and conduct of joint operations to combat terrorism. The Defense Minister, Dominic Mitiwo, says Ghana gets a $20 million package, even though that is not stated in the agreement cited by Joe News.